Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Night Sky Newscast. I'm your host, Shane Alapon, science reporter with the Dale Etheridge Planetarium at the College of Southern Nevada. This week we'll talk about some recent astronomy news as well as what's up in our night sky. The constellation Pegasus is a prominent sight all throughout September. Spot him in the eastern sky any time after sunset as he climbs higher and higher throughout the night. The easiest way to see him is to find the Great Square of Pegasus, which marks his body. It will look more like a diamond this month. Find the reddish star Enith to the right of the square to see where Pegasus ends. Enith means a nose in Arabic, which gives a hint to Pegasus' orientation. He's upside down. On August 18, Webb captured an image of what appears to be a literal question mark in space. The original image is of a pair of dust clouds known as Herbig Haro 4647, which is in the process of forming into two stars. However, at the bottom of the image near the corner of the dust clouds is a tiny red question mark. We're not quite sure what it is because it's simply too far away, but an astronomer who helps run the Webb telescope suggests that it could be two galaxies merging together. He offered an image of two closer merging galaxies that seem to look similar. Whatever it is, it definitely represents what we feel about the mysteries of space. On August 23rd, the Chandrayaan-3 mission successfully landed on the moon and is India's first official moon landing. On the spacecraft was a lander named Vikram and a rover named Pragyan. The solar-powered robots will stay on the moon and collect measurements for the next two weeks. India is also working on launching a solar observatory called Aditya L1 in early September and an Earth observation satellite built jointly with NASA. Stay tuned for details. Astronomers have observed a supermassive black hole tearing apart perhaps the most massive star that we've ever seen get destroyed by a black hole, or at least have been able to measure. The star was over three solar masses large, and its contents were ripped apart and thrown into space during this tidal disruption event, labeled Assassin 14 Li. It was first observed in 2014 by ground-based telescopes. In the years since, astronomers have been forensically analyzing the X-ray data from NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and ESA's XMM Newton Telescope, among others. Being able to measure the masses of tidally disrupted stars can help astronomers locate star clusters around supermassive black holes and more distant galaxies. Finally, we leave you with an interesting little tidbit. Neptune's clouds are slowly disappearing. When looking at Hubble telescope images of Neptune since 1994, its clouds regularly increase and decrease. However, images from October 2019 showed almost no clouds. Neptune's clouds are made up of various materials. Anywhere from methane can be found at the highest point of the atmosphere to ammonia and water found at lower pressures. The amounts of clouds seem to be connected to solar flares. The sun goes through cycles of violent activity and peace, and it seems that more activity correlates to more clouds. More ultraviolet light seems to trigger more cloud-making chemical reactions on Neptune. The sun is predicted to be at its maximum activity again in 2025, so scientists will patiently wait to see if their hypothesis is true. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hit that subscribe button for more updates on amazing astronomy news. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments below, too. This is Shane now with Night Sky Newscast, and until next time, keep your eyes to the skies and stay curious.